Hi everyone, Aaron Dell here, Head of Business for the Cloud Intelligence Dashboards. Today, I wanna to talk to you about setting up alerts using your Cloud Intelligence Dashboards. Now, first and foremost, I have to cover something pretty basic. If you need to get alerted based on costs or usage, there is a tool built into the console you can use. Head over to your billing console and click on Budgets. Now in Budgets, I can create budgets that act as thresholds. Let's say I use a service over a certain number of hours, or my costs go above a certain amount, I can get alerts. But if you use the Cloud Intelligence dashboards, you know that there's a whole array of metrics that you can have access to in these dashboards. Well, it turns out you can also use these to set up alerts. You can set up alerts based on kinds of things like your unit cost of compute, your unit cost of storage. You can set up any kind of usage or cost threshold as well and get very granular. Even setting up alerts based on specific resources, tags, or any other metric that you find in any of the cloud intelligence dashboards. So let's take a look at how you can do that today. Let's start with the cost intelligence dashboard. Let's take our dashboard template, make sure that we click on share, share dashboard, and give ourselves save as analysis permissions. Now, when we go back to the dashboards, we may have to refresh our browser, but we'll see here that we've got a save as option. We'll give this a alert threshold CID. Now that we have our analysis set up, let's go about and create some alerts. First, I'm gonna create a new tab and I'm gonna rename it and call this alerts. So everything that we have on this tab is gonna be dedicated to alerting. Let's say I wanna be alerted if my usage spend goes above a certain amount. So first I'm gonna take this and duplicate it to my alerts tab and leave it as it is. Now, right now it's set to just a simple number and I'm gonna set up an alert later to a fixed dollar amount. But let's get a little bit more detailed. Perhaps what I wanna do is set up an alert if my compute usage spend month over month goes above a certain percentage. So let's copy this one from the compute tab over to my alerts tab and save it. Now, let's say that I wanna get an alert when my compute unit cost goes above a certain amount. I should be watching my compute unit cost. This is how much I spend on average per hour on compute. To lower your compute unit cost, you have to use more savings plans, more spot, and uh, using more reserved instances. So first, let's take this visual and we're gonna duplicate it over to my new alerts tab. Now, I'm gonna filter this one visual to make it just about my previous month. So it's set to relative dates and days, and I want to make sure that it's set to previous month. Then I'm gonna turn this into a KPI type of graph, and I need to make sure I disable this exclude last one month. Okay, this is my unit cost for February. So I need to decide what unit cost I want to be alerted on. It probably helps to check what your past unit costs have been. My highest was 15 cents, so I'll probably set it to that. Let's also set an alert if I have a reserved instance or savings plan that's expiring next month. The good news is, is that I have a visual that's already dedicated to this, so I'm just gonna duplicate it over to my alerts. I don't actually have any savings that's going to expire this month. And finally, I want to be notified if my storage unit cost, how much I spend per gigabyte, goes above a certain amount as well. You can lower your spend per gigabyte by using storage classes other than S3 standards, such as Glacier, Deep Archive, Intelligent Tiering, and Frequent Access, and the like. So let's start by duplicating this visual over to my Alerts tab. Now we don't need all of this data, I really just want to know if my unit cost went down last month. So I'm going to change this filter from the billing period to last one month, and I'm gonna make sure I don't exclude the last month. Now I'm just looking at the last month. My unit cost is pretty low, and now I need to turn this into a KPI style visual, and I have my March 2022 unit cost of S3. Okay, let's get started setting up alerts. The first thing you need to do is publish this as a dashboard. Now I have my read-only dashboard. I'll go to my alerts tab. My first alert is for usage spend. I wanna know if this is above, $30,000 and I want my notifications to be weekly at most. Next, I want to know if my compute usage spend increases more than 10% and I want this to be daily. Next, I want to know if my compute unit costs gets to 15 cents per hour on average. I want to know if I have any savings, so this would be anything above zero that's expiring 
this month. And I want my storage unit costs to be alerted if it goes above the current threshold, which is 005 cents per gigabyte. Now I can visit my alerts, enable or disable any alerts that I have set up or edit them. And if you're familiar with Tau, the Trusted Advisor Organizational Desktop, you can use some of the cost optimization flags to set up alerts for things like when you're using, uh, when you're spending too much on idle RDS instances or too much on low utilization EC2 instances. Trusted Advisor will give you flags for cost optimization, performance, security, and other things. Let's try adding some of these alerts now. So first I'm gonna create a new tab and call it my alert tab. This really helps me keep things organized. And then I'm gonna to go to my cost optimization tab and I'm gonna find how much could I save if I were to get rid of or delete some idle RDS instances. And I'm gonna duplicate that over to my new alerts tab. And I'm gonna do the same with low utilization EC2 instances here, which in my, in my case is pretty low. This is demo data. So for you, I'd expect it to be much higher. And I'm gonna duplicate this over to my alerts tab. So now I have a new alerts tab where I can set alerts on thresholds for dollar amounts of potential savings for my underutilized and unutilized resources. So let's go ahead and do that. Don't forget to publish your dashboard and then head over to dashboards and then go ahead and set your alerts. So I'm gonna say I want this to be anytime this is above $0 and anytime this is above $100. Now I'm gonna get an alert whenever there's some savings to be had above a certain threshold for underutilized or unutilized resources using the Tau dashboard. Now finally, I'm gonna show you how to set some alerts in the KPI tracker. The KPI tracker comes pre-baked with about 20 or 22 KPIs that we recommend you track for cost optimization. Let's set some alerts so that we know if we meet a certain threshold for perhaps compute on demand percentage or spend, our S3 standard goals, usage of EC2 spot, that we get an alert. This can be based on teams, business units, any kind of grouping that you need so that it becomes a useful tool for you. So let's get started. Once we have our analysis version, let's take a look and see how some of these units are constructed. If we click on goals, we see that these are the fields that are being used. The good news is, is that these are all individual fields, so it should be pretty easy to create KPI visuals based on these fields. So let's create a new tab. We'll call this our alerts. And let's get started by using our compute on demand coverage. So if we drag this in, it defaults to 86%. Let's add a filter. We want the billing period to only include relative dates, months, previous month. So we were at 100% on demand coverage in our previous month. That's pretty bad. We'll set up some alerts so that we get alerted of this in time to do something about it. Next, let's add another one. This time, let's take a look at our spot coverage. Again, we'll add a filter for billing period. We're gonna set it to a relative date, months, previous month. So my spot coverage in the previous month was also zero. I wanna get alerted if this is ever the case because I wanna make sure that spot's being covered. Now you can get very clever with these and say, I really just wanna make sure that this is true for specific accounts. So let's pick an account out of the list of accounts that I have available to me in this data set. Now, if you imagine that you have multiple accounts, this becomes a useful tool to get alerts on a specific team for specific accounts. Okay, let's set up our alerts. We're gonna publish the dashboard. We're gonna click on compute on demand coverage. And we do want this to be set if it's ever above 70%, for example. So if my compute on demand coverage goes above 70%, send me an alert. For spot, I wanna be alerted if my spot coverage is below 15%. I hope this was really helpful. I'd like to see you adding alerts to Kudos where there's a lot of granular data about specific services and usage and cost. Adding alerts to the KPI dashboard, to the Cloud Intelligence dashboard, and to all of our other dashboards is made possible by Threshold Alerting System through QuickSight. This is just a brief demo of how you can get started. I can't wait to see what you build knowing these tools. Thanks so much.